We are back with more OUPL. We got Scan versus Roses. He leads off with Greninja. He brings some bulky offense with Zygarde. And I will have to add some music in real quick. I also have to close my Photoshop. As I just finished this thumbnail. For the other game. Goes Bull on the sport. Tries to pivot into Heatran. But Roses catches that. Goes for Spore again. Yeah, I'll just play some Zelda music. Because it's the fastest to find for me. Yeah, Greninja comes out, predicting the land was hard. That was a wild play. Knowing that the Among Us wouldn't stay in on the heat train, I guess. And goes hard for Ice Beam, and it's Protein. It's not Ash, so this is gonna do 5 million. Wait, that did nothing. What the fuck? So this probably, um, maybe Scarf Greninja, because the damage was like super low on the Among Us. And maybe it's more attack invested than special attack. But the Among Us misses the stun spore. I mean, his Among Us is obviously pretty spadaf, but yeah, the Greninja is not life orb, so maybe it's just super spadaf Among Us and the Greninja is max special attack, not sure. So I assume we're gonna see a flash can exactly. And a thousand arrow slash toxic from the Zygarde. If it's not banded, yeah, it's probably banded damage and a defensive landers with leftovers. I would have loved to see a toxic there on the landers, but I guess I'll never to get some chip. Like the leftovers helped the landers a lot in this scenario. Ninja probably gonna go for a U turn, yep. I can go onto uh, Zygat, but Zygat doesn't do much to landers, so. Yeah, he's doubling out into Tapu Bulu breaking the landers. Roses has like some. Balance type of team, or you can also call it bulky offense. More balance ish, I would say. So it's Spadaf Among Us, which makes me think that a uh, Magnezone could be Spags. Yeah, she could be AV Magnezone and Z Move Majorna. But if it's not Mega Gyarados, it's probably Z Move Gyarados. So this Sludge Bomb breaks the substitute from the SD sub Bulu, and the Z Move might blow this Among Us away. Either Z Stone Edge or potential Zen Hutbot could come out here. Both would pick off the kill on the Among Us. If it's like the Among Us has shown that it's the death, though, Z Move will do a lot, even if it's just a Z Stone Edge. She might not kill because it's only a plus one. And the Among Us is pretty healthy. On Scan's team, we can see that it's um, kind of like an OB team. Probably the Defog Scizor on the 3 attacks, the Ruth Zapdos. Yeah, it's kind of like a crush as expected. Landris eats it up decently well. And Roses can go back into Among Us here. Yup. I mean, Among Us is not doing much. It just gives Heatran a free switch. And so I can see Roses doubling out, predicting the Heatran. But I just, I don't know if Rose, it's a he or she. <laughs> Rose just goes for Sludge I think it's a he. Uh, I'm not sure, I think this doesn't burn any sleep turns yet. So the Gyarados is actually a threat. Zapdos potentially gonna come out here confirming that it's... Yeah, that's the defensive Zapdos. So that makes me think that it's, um, it's a static Zapdos because we don't see pressure activate. Yeah, it's definitely not the default Zapdos if it's pressure. Uh, if it's static. But yeah, the Magina can go for Ice Beam or Volt Switch. But it just pivots on the Heat Wave and the Ladders, which is a good play. Zapdos is kind of roost here, breaking a Draco Meteor. Only way that Ladios would pressure the Zapdos is if it uh, tricks it. A, a Scarf, then it would cripple the Zapdos. Or well, if it's like Specs, Psychic, that would also do a lot. But that would be risky in the sense that Scizor or Greninja can come out on that. They just, just, just drop a Draco and that's maybe Life or Soul do damage. I don't think it's Specs. Because the Scizor's not, Scizor's not Mega Evolved yet, so Scizor can Mega Evolve and Roost here. Um, but there's the Magnezone. The Magnezone is pretty obvious. 
So does he U-turn predicting the Magnus Zone? He does Defog, okay. So we can see if he's fast scissor, but he's not fast scissor. He drops to the HP fire. I assume this is a speedy man who's on a timid. Specs, uh, he's a specs the AV. Um, I think it's this is offensive Zygarde, so I should be able to find out by calking how much the Flashkin did earlier. I think he did like 40 something. But I don't really want to miss a turn here. Uh, Landers is actually getting low, so it gets 2 KO'd here. So Rose either has to sag the Lando or. Um, mm -hmm. I think Gladius would die at the range it's at. So, like, basically, Rose has to pick a forward here. Hmm. Yeah, this team that Scan has is a lot like Obi's team. But the difference that he puts Scarf Greninja over Scarf Keldeo. And you put Tapu Bulu over Among Us. As Yalandu's getting to KO, getting sacked off here. That was the Rocker from Rose's side. So the Rocker is dead now, which is pretty nice for the Zapdos. I mean, you can still switch out now. Maybe Among Us can eat it up at minus one. But the Among Us is super spadaf, so it's gonna do a lot. Not sure if it's worth risking that. It is gonna do a lot, it's gonna do like 48, 43, okay. But yeah, that works out fine, and that way Rose keeps the, the Landris as fodder. The Among Us can double up in the Heat turn into Landris, which is a great play. The Landris can get up Roxy since the Defog Scissor died already, but he predicts the Heat turn to stay in, which is a really great play there. Good lord. Amazing read. Because staying in with Heatran, predicting Stealth Fox was kind of obvious. And like trying to wake up. Because that way, killing the Heatran is kind of huge. Because that way, the Among Us gets to put something else to sleep. I don't think I would go into Tapu Bull risking to get, like, put to. Um, risking it on a Sludge Bomb. But he just goes Laddie. Um, that doesn't do much. That's either Scarf or Soul do. Now that I look at the team, I think it has to be Scarf Lottie, actually, yeah. Looks like that's a check to Volcarona. Gyarados, if it's at full, can also check Volcarona. But yeah, Scarf Lottie probably with T-Wave or something to check Volk. As yeah, Mungus gets the Zapdos, put the, puts the Zapdos to bad, and Majirna is... ...going for Shifki, so it's probably Z-Move Majirna. And it could be Z-Move Gyarados then. It's a Shifki Command, that's a really interesting set, as the Zapdos stays asleep for a while. And the Arose, he said GG, so yeah, just forfeits to this Shifty Majorna, which um, probably had maybe f maybe f um, Flash Can and Ice Beam, maybe T Bolt and Flash Can. But yeah, I would have um, killed the Zygarde with either Flash Can, Ice Beam, or Florican, whatever it has. Zapdos with wouldn't have done much damage because it had a Command up. And that is probably had a Z move to blow the Zapdos away too. And yeah, Bulu can't really touch it. Greninja also can't touch it, especially after a calm mind. And yeah, I know this wasn't the uh, this was not the best narration. Um, earlier was more in the games, but this one I was just finishing the thumbnail for the other game you guys saw. So I wasn't really ready to record another one, but this just I check Smokers like every few minutes, and then I realize sometimes the game pops up, and I will try to catch it if I'm gonna be able to. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, skin. I don't know who Scan is, but yeah, I think Roses has played before this OEPL. Roses picks up the win, we can look at the score real quick. Um, which team, which team. This should be the Topson knocked out versus the anti versus Kratos Menace team. So yeah, there's only one game highlighted yet, so the score should be 1-1 one one regarding to this. But maybe some of the other games here in the lower teeth have been played, uh, in the older gens have been played already, I didn't pay that much attention to that. They're not sure Ricardo if he will get his activity win that he requested because he had to leave earlier. I can show you guys the post. Um, I left a message on my opponent's wall and he hasn't responded. He seems to be dead since the 9th. I need to leave and can wait for someone that didn't reply in one week claiming activity win. And they, like, I'm not sure if, if he will get it or if they will sub someone in. I think he might get the activity win. So that would mean that the team would be up. Anti's team would be up. 
2 and 1 if Ricardo gets the activity win. I mean, I'm pretty sure Ricardo could beat him even if he would have to play, but like he's busy, so maybe we will we will see how that works. If they will have to sub someone in or if he will get the win. And other than that, we have the Fim versus Paul game left. Like I said, I don't know about these lower tiers. I will show you the score for that later, but I'm not really a fan of recording those when I'm not when I don't have the knowledge about it. I'm only gonna record black and white for S2s because S2s is pretty hyped. S2 16 playoffs. Actually recorded a series yesterday for black and white and was not for S2s, so I didn't upload that because I thought it was for S2s and I realized like five minutes in. Oh wait, this is for black and white cup. It's not for S2s. And the narration wasn't the best, so I just didn't upload it. But yeah, peace out, friends, and stay tuned for more OUPL content.